All right, y'all, we're going to see if this works. Okay, I can hear myself. <laughs> so let me know if you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. And then we're going to get it moving. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Hi, Michelle. Better? All right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay. So while people are hopping on, hi, Valerie. Hi, Josie. Mel. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Bryce said, I can hear you. Hi, Ramona. All right. I put y'all on my other internet. So the last time I know we were having some issues with the video being kind of blurry, which I was not aware of because when I'm, when I'm live, it looks clear. So y'all didn't tell me I was blurry. <laughs> Maybe some people probably say it. But... All right. So today for my girls, um, I'm making them some of my homestyle burgers. So that's what I'll be cooking live today. I know it isn't anything extravagant, but in my weight loss group, you all know we're doing a corporate fast. So for our corporate fast um, for today, I'm making me some vegetable soup. So I'm going to transfer this to my crock pot so that we can cook these burgers up, honey. So this is what I'm having. It's a um, Daniel Fast vegetable soup. She said, that's better. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Gianna. Is it Gianna? So I'm going to start putting this into my crock pot, you all. Let me see. And then we're going to get started. Hi, Sheila. Thank you, dear. Uh-oh. All right, y'all, let me get my... I don't have my one spoon I need, but it's okay. Get that in there like that. Y'all, this soup gonna be so good. <laughs> it's gonna have to be good. You like the way my soup looks? Oh, honey, I can make some good soup. Okay, this one isn't gonna be, you know, all of that because it's the Daniel fast. But uh, but it definitely smells good. It's smelling up the house. Y'all see it? So I'm gonna move this on out the way. This is not what I'm making today. That's what I'm making for myself. <laughs> all right now I'm gonna move this over here to my crock pot thank you yeah it has all sorts of vegetables in it Let's go ahead and get this situated. All right. And we're going to cook it on high, honey. All right, you all. We are making burgers, honey. So let's first go ahead and get our meat and everything. I'm going to try to keep y'all situated in one spot. So I'll move you either from here to there. <laughs> so you're not all over the place. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Molly. Hi, Renee. You just got finished eating mac and cheese, meatloaf, and string beans. That sounds good. Thank you, Teresa. That all sounds wonderful, honey. I don't know what I'm going to eat when I get done with my, uh, you know, Daniel's fast. But, honey, I ain't, I'm not even thinking about it. We got too long to go. <laughs> we got two more weeks to go. I'm not even thinking about it. <laughs> eat a little bit for me, girl. All right, so I got my ground beef. I'm gonna get an egg. I like to use mustard mm -hmm. for my burgers. If you haven't tried my recipe, it's really, really good. I do a few different things that's really good with the burger. Hi, Vonda. Oh, thank you, Molly. 
Thank you, Kathy. Hi, Tara. You want me to share the soup recipe? I actually wrote it down. I'm, I'm actually going to put that recipe in my um, low-carb. What am I doing, y'all? I'm working on another cookbook. Let me not say it, because then y'all be trying to, when the cookbook going to be done? I'm not going to tell you, honey. <laughs> But I'll tell you what I put in it. I put some bay leaf. I put some um, Italian seasoning. I put a little kosher salt. And um, I used uh, the mixed vegetables in the, in the frozen bag. I cut up some potatoes. I added some uh, stewed tomatoes. <laughs> Hi, Evelyn. Oh, thank you. I love you, too. Michelle, yeah, we're gonna have to make a turkey burger. I'm not big, I'm not a big turkey uh meat fan, like the turkey ground turkey. That's how you don't usually see it seeing me using it at all because I really don't like it. So this is called stress relief tea. <laughs> Child listen. Woo! All right, let me put my gloves on. So when it comes to making your burgers, I know some people have certain meat they like to use personally. I can make any burger taste good. So you just use whatever you like though or whatever you can afford. Everybody can't afford that expensive meat. So if you could just get you some ground beef, honey, we can make it work. I add a little bit of mustard in there, maybe about a tablespoon or so. I'm going to add an egg. I'm going to add a little bit of my Lipton soup mix. And honey, we're going to hook this burger up. I started to do like a wake and bake burger. You know, the, not that probably didn't sound right. Wake and bake. <laughs> I don't mean like that wake and bake. <laughs> I meant, um, you know, the burgers with the over easy egg and, you know, stuff like that. I'm not going to do all of that. I'm going to just keep it simple for my kids because this is for them. If it was for me, I would add me a egg and um, and some other stuff. But I'm going to keep it simple for them. We're going to do lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, and that stuff. Mayo. Let me mix this in a little bit. Now, when you're using that Lipton soup mix, you just want to be careful because it has uh, it has seasonings in it. Like, it's, it has salt and stuff in it. So, you know, do what you want to do, but just keep that in mind. For those that don't know, though, you know, you don't really need to add a lot of extra when you're using that. And I'm only going to add just a little bit to mine because I didn't feel like chopping up little onions to go in it for one. And I like the taste of the soup mix because it's good. Sorry, I didn't mean to block y'all. Hold on for a sec. Let me get my seasoning. Where is my... Let's add a little onion, you all, and a little garlic. But I'm looking for another seasoning and I can't find it. So we'll just do that. I'm going to do onion and garlic. You could do a base seasoning like your Greek all-purpose. You don't need a whole lot to make it taste good. And I'm going to add a little season on. And that's it, y'all. That is it. Let me get one more glue because we got to make our patties. Hi, Glenda. Dorothy, the family is fine. How's your family? <laughs> No, I'm not making meatloaf. I meant to put that back up there. And I need my egg. Y'all let me forget the egg that quick. Mix that egg up in there. Now you ain't got to have the egg. You can leave that out if you want to. Mm. Honey, honey, honey. So get it to work, okay? <laughs> I'm just making some home style burgers. Something simple and easy. That's one of the benefits of January's because I could just kind of, you know, like one day I came in here and cooked a couple of meals, you know, and they just ate off those a couple of days. So it's kind of easier for me to cook for the kids in January. All right, once you get that mixed in, honey, then you just make your burgers how you want them to be. The egg helps your meat to be more, to me, it just makes it better. I don't know. Sometimes the meat can be kind of grindy. Does that make sense? So when you add that egg, it helps to bring it together to make a nice patty, honey. Seems like it just patties better when you add that egg. 
So there you go. It was real easy to do that with that egg. You can lay it on in your pan because the hamburger meat has oil in it, okay? Unless you're using some really lean, lean ground beef, and I'm not. I got fat in my ground beef. <laughs> so I don't have to add oil to my pan. You don't have to worry about it. Your burgers are going to shrink. Of course, you know that. So when you patty them out, they're going to, you know, shrink in some. But you at least want it to fit your bun. You know, you don't, we're not making sliders. <laughs> so you don't want to make it too small. <laughs> All right, Layla, Ali, Alana. I only got to make three burgers. Alana gets a smaller burger. Because she ain't going to eat that much. Thank you, Miss Morgan. Um, somebody said something about that email. Now, somebody sent me some coffee. I want you to tell you, I did get the coffee. I don't remember who you were. Thank you for sending it, and I will have to try it. I can't try it now, but um, who's having wings? Christina's having wings. Wings are always good. I'm not that traditional, um, you know, got to have a certain, you know, a big meal on Sunday. I eat, well, I eat whatever I want to eat, <laughs> no matter what day of the week it is. Um, but, you know, kids are easier to please. I'm going to pull y'all over here. And then I still got a whole lot of meat left. So I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And because my girls like, they like to eat. So they'll probably end up eating more burgers. All right. Now, in my opinion, I'm not the best cook. Don't claim to be. But in my opinion, you all, making a good burger, just don't cook it on high. You got to let it have time to cook. To me, when you cook it on high, it tends to dry out your meat quickly okay quicker than you want it to okay. and the reason being is because the outside of your meat is going to cook quicker than the inside and if you want a well done burger then you need to let it cook slower okay all right well that's going I'm gonna chop up some tomato and onion lettuce I could bring y'all over here with me and we're gonna let our burger get started I have mine right now set to like a medium high heat and then because that pan cooks fairly that's a good cooking pan <laughs> that's a good cooking pan so I'm gonna let it um I'm gonna see how it does in a minute I'll be able to hear it while we're uh waiting a1 burgers. Oh, thank you. I love that chicken and rice too, honey. I love my chicken and rice. I do. When I was younger, my grandmother, she would make chicken and rice, but she would make it with, uh, she loved curry. And this is my mother's mother. And so I don't really care for curry. So I started making mine, you know, just, you know, regular. I just don't like that curry, but that chicken and rice is good, honey. It's good. You can feed a lot of people and you can eat off of it a couple of days. And I don't get tired of rice, so it's good and it's wise to cook it. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. Mm -hmm. Jessica said, I got wings, barbecue, smoky, barbecue chicken. Okay, sliders, buffalo chicken. All right now. Jessica said, go Steelers, girl. You cooking it good. We need to be watching you. <laughs> Renee, type in um, cooking with Aisha and then type in whatever recipe you're looking for up in the search bar on Facebook and it'll pull it up. Hi, Annette. Hi, Pamela. Nice to see you. Somebody said it's snowing. Oh, listen, I do not miss St. Louis. <laughs> I do not miss St. Louis. I know it's snowing in some other parts, lower than St. But I, honey, when I lived there, we used to get so much snow. I do not miss it. I don't miss none of that now. Then when I moved to Huntsville, it would still be snowing. We got a little dust, but it would be snow. I'm trying to get away from the snow. So now I'm so far south. If it's snow down here, Jesus about to come right behind that snow. That's all I know. <laughs> all I know is... <laughs> Jesus, just look for him because he's coming behind that snow. <laughs> yeah, it does snow in Atlanta. 
It does snow in Atlanta. It don't snow where I'm at, though. No, ma'am. <laughs> all right, let me put this over here. Because we need this, you all. I'm just rinsing off my stuff I need. Because my tomatoes, I need... Um, those burgers smelling good 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 all right this is just my um i know most people use these for like the the wraps or whatever but i like the hearts of romaine i've been using that for my salad so i'm gonna rinse these off i'm gonna use some for the burgers and i'm actually am going to make a salad because i need some salad too <laughs> i need to prepare that for me so i'll be doing that too really that's good, man, if it, it really uh, snows there anymore because baby, it's just snow all the time. Not all the time, but you know what I'm saying. Hold on, y'all. And so they look like this if you don't know. All right, y'all, we got to check these burgers. So I always rinse my produce. I know some people don't, and it's okay if you don't. It's a choice. But I don't feel like you got to rinse your produce, baby. Let's go over here and check these burgers. And see what's going on. Ooh. All right. Now, I'm going to turn mine down to a medium. I'm going to go down a little more. Where's my spatula? I'm sorry. I'm trying to get y'all so y'all can see the burger. <laughs> Not looking up my nose. <laughs> All right. So... You want to just cook your burgers slow enough to where they're cooking all the way through. Okay? You don't want to cook them on high. It's not time to turn them. I already know that. I'm just showing y'all. If you can see, you can see. They're not ready. <laughs> I just know from cooking. <laughs> so we'll turn them in just a few minutes. But I promise you, the more you cook, you just know stuff. You don't even have to, you know. You just know. It's like when I cook uh, rice. I just know. I never measure rice. I just know. No matter what rice I cook, yellow rice, I don't like brown rice. Or white rice, any kind of white rice. I could just eyeball it. I could literally look at the rice and the water and know how much of each and it turns out perfect. <laughs> so, I don't know. So I want to encourage you, if you want to be a better cook, just Keep practicing. Keep cooking. Keep cooking, and I promise you, honey, you will get better and better and better. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Wright, I'm making burgers. Brooke said yes, rinse. Yeah. Thank you, Carolyn. It's good to see you. All right, so I rinsed off my tomatoes and my lettuce. I can just put my lettuce right here. We're going to chop that up. Let me flip these burgers. <laughs> she said, there is no option. They must be washed. I know that's right, girl. Now, y'all see that? Huh? Mm, mm, mm. There's no need for dry burgers. You can have a nice, juicy burger. If you just cook it with love, okay? That's it. Just take your time with it. Love takes time, even when cooking, okay? So now, we need lettuce for our burger. I need onion, too. I need my onion. I need to rinse out those other tomatoes, but I ain't going to worry about that right now. So how has your your Sunday been so far? How was your weekend? How is your 2022 going so far? Thank you, Lily. Oh, uh, thank you, Angie. That's the secret. Love. It really is. You ever notice your food tastes different when you cook with an attitude? I do. That's why I had to start getting my mind together. Like before I start cooking, I had to get myself together. Because I don't know. It's like your food tastes like how you feel. <laughs> what kind of mood you in? Like, uh, that wasn't so good this time. <laughs> I've been there, done that, honey. Got a whole attitude with the kids and 
everything. And food just turn out, you know. Kids don't want to say nothing, you know, because they kids <laughs> and they can't say nothing. <laughs> but I do believe those go hand in hand. So, but that's just my opinion. Yay! I'm glad you got your cookbook, Sonya. I'm going to do another praise dance real soon. Trust me, that's something that stays on my mind. I love to dance because I do it when, um, dancing helps me. It, I don't dance for, for you. Not, no, no offense. I don't dance for people. I dance for myself. Dancing actually does something for me spiritually. So that's why I dance. <laughs> like there's a, there's something God gave me with my dance. So when I dance, there are things that happen for me. Like one time, y'all didn't even know I danced. And somebody was telling me how it blessed them. And of course, you know, I see people's comments and stuff. But I, I saw this person in person in person. And they were telling me how much that dance blessed them. And I said, you don't even know what I was going through at that moment. I needed to dance for me. I, w I was going through something. <laughs> I was going through. So, shoot, I set myself free. Well, the Lord set me free. But you know what I'm trying to say. All right, y'all. And that's my onion. Our burgers are just doing wonderful. I may just go ahead and cook a few more simply because my kids can eat. Yeah, dancing. It's just like people who can sing. I can't sing. But I'm pretty sure when you have a gift, God will allow you to use that gift to even bless you. You know, so I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure people who sing, and they just be singing and carrying on, and they they can set themselves free. Y'all gonna see how juicy these burgers are too, cause they are juicy, baby. All right, what I need, y'all? Lettuce, tomato. I gotta get these pickles. I gotta chop up my onion. I'm gonna do some caramelized onions just to show those that don't know how to do caramelized onions. And then I'm gonna leave some that are not caramelized because my one daughter, she likes to use hers, like, you know, the raw onion. So we'll do a little bit of both. But you know, we rush out to these restaurants, y'all. We can just do all this stuff at home. And trust me, I get it. Fast food is convenient. So there's a time for it. But let's not overdo it. Because <laughs> there was one point during the pandemic, you all, I overdid it. I overdid it with calling DoorDash. I overdid it with calling Grubhub. When all I had to do was go in my kitchen and, and just do it, you know. So I had to start back cooking like more and more and more because, uh-uh. It don't make no sense. You do sharing, girl. Where we get this shirt from? Cause I don't remember. We get it from Walmart, Walmart or Sam's. <laughs> or uh, you know what? It's either Walmart, Sam's, or um, Kato. I like to shop at Kato too. Ooh, hold on, y'all. I gotta focus. All right, there we go. Get some of those onions. Let me put these. All these burgers look great. Now these are about done. I'm going to take them out and you all will be able to see those. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop some more in. Not pop, but drop. <laughs> they are much better, Tracy. Where I've been on my other pages. <laughs> you got to come join the weight loss group, honey. I do stuff on my personal page. I do a daily devotional. I started January the 1st on my personal page. Um, I re I'm reading a book. <laughs> um, you know, we're doing stuff in the Daniel, you know, in the Daniel Stairs. All right, y'all, let me get these burgers. Now, I never push down on my burgers. You never saw me do that. Okay? I'm not doing that because I don't want to push all that juice out my burger. Okay? I 
I'm just moving it over because I got to uh, patty out some more. Yeah, I don't even know if y'all can see these doggone bags. They look so doggone good. And so all we added in here was some of our uh, Lipton soup mix and some, what else y'all? Lipton soup mix, onion and garlic powder and a little seasoning all, that was it. Or I would have done like some Greek all purpose. And then once it, we're going to let it sit for a minute. If you want a well done, done burger, don't cook it all the way till it's done. Just cook it till it's almost done and then it'll cook the rest of the way. It's going to be good when we cut it over. You'll see. Let me get my um, patties. I'm going to go ahead and um, put a few more burgers in there. Because I got a feeling that one burger ain't going to be enough for some people. <laughs> mustard. Thank you, Gary. Mustard, mustard, mustard. You're so right. Thank you, Miss Lois. Thank you, Shay. <laughs> All right. So you just patty it out. Like I said, that egg really helped. It just helps your burger to stay together. So just try it if you don't try it. Sometimes you can use some type of meat and it'll like it'll start falling apart when you're trying to make your, your patty. So you don't need that. Put that in there. Well, we got enough for three more burgers. I'm trying to pin your Oh, my other page. Okay, I'll pin it if you uh hold on, put it back in there for me and I'll uh or I could do it. Which page? You talking about the Aisha Williams or the uh the weight loss group? Which one y'all want? The weight loss group? If you come on over there, you can join us. We, um, we're on day seven of our Daniels Fast, but you can join in because it's not about really that. You can join in at any time and, uh, if you want to. Or you could just listen in on the devotions and stuff like that. We have a lot going on. We have praise and worship, all kind of stuff, honey. Okay. Let me wash my hands. Ooh, those burgers are greasy. Good lord. Mm. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back over. I need to wipe this area on the stove. Where is my... Oh. You will see me wiping a lot. I cannot stand to cook in dirt. Like, I don't know what that's about, but I just cannot do it. If I come in the kitchen and it's dishes in the sink, I'm not cooking dinner. Somebody finna come do these dishes. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to do the dishes because I just can't do that. Tara, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. Okay, so we got these burgers. I'm gonna put a little foil over that so those don't get cold. You can put them in the oven on warm so you can do whatever you want but we still have to add cheese so they'll be fine for now Carol you say you the same way oh <laughs> are you I just can't do it I can I cannot <laughs> my mind won't let me do it Like something that me just shut all the way down. Hi, Donna. Hi, Lateria. Yes, you can drop it in beef broth too. That's absolutely correct. When I'm making my um my little flat burgers, I like to put them in there. But these are juicy. Okay. These are juicy. Hi, Sherry. Thank you, Chastity. Oh, the weight loss group. I'm sorry. Let me tell you what it is. Where is the... If you want to come on live and say hello, you can. Just send a request. But don't send a request if you don't want to come live. <laughs> okay. Let me see. What am I doing? Wait. Loss. What is it, y'all? It's weight loss. And... It ain't going to let me type it how it's supposed to be. I have to put it together. Hold on, let me see. Let me see if it'll let me do it. Woo! Woo! Lord, this stuff popping on me. Hold on, y'all. 
Can y'all see? Where did it go? Wait, where did it go? Oh, Lord, I done lost it. There it is. Oh, <laughs> I lost it again. Hold on. Oh, Lord. That's the only thing I hate about this when I do it on this phone. There it is. There it is. I got it. <laughs> we got some grease in there now, so they trying to get feisty on me. But I ain't gonna let you do it. You know these burgers are gonna be juicy. They making a whole lot of grease, okay? A whole lot of grease. All right, I got my onions chopped. I'm gonna put them to the side. I got some raw onions and I just cut them, you know, like this. So I'm gonna take some of them apart and I'm gonna make caramelized onions for those that wanna see how to make those. And then I also gotta put get my pickles out. I gotta get them ready. Cause once these burgers are done, you will see what I gotta do. And I was gonna make them some fries, but they had fries yesterday. So, I have some leftover spaghetti. So you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna heat it up. <laughs> I sure am, honey. <laughs> Y'all gonna eat this spaghetti about this refrigerator. They don't know it, but they are. You wanna eat around here? You gotta eat whatever is cooked. All right. So let me get that out. We'll heat up some spaghetti. I like to heat up food on the stove. I'm not a big microwave person for reheating. Uh-uh. It's enough. So when I reheat my spaghetti, all you need is get me something to use. You talking about tastes good like you just made it? Put that spaghetti right up in that skillet. I'm gonna show y'all. before it starts. So you can see how it's going to turn around. I'm going to turn this spaghetti right on the around. Okay. You see how it look? Put garlic powder and cheese in yours, or you come out the, the burger or the spaghetti. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. You don't need much because there is grease, you know, from the, you know, and your meat. Everything's gonna come together. Leftover spaghetti is the bomb. Okay. Yes. <laughs> you can add a little chicken broth, but all you need is a little bit of water. I only need a little bit of water in there, and I'm going to show you why once it starts cooking. Okay, these burgers are about done, so what I'm going to do is just cut me a little lettuce for that. And I just cut the top off of this. Kind of give me a little leaf, but I'm going to cut that up because... That's not going to work like that. I need my lettuce to 
I'm going to cut it a little bit, y'all. And I'm going to put this on the burgers, and I'm going to cut some tomatoes for the burgers as well. But we're about to caramelize these onions. And I'm going to show y'all what this burger is going to be looking like. I got to give y'all a close-up. <laughs> Okay, now I'm about to take these burgers out and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my pickles and Some great meals with leftover time. I'm trying to say. Alright, we're starting to cook. I'm going to take some of these pickles out. I'm going to take those further out. I'm going to give these, and see, these are still smoking. I'm going to give these time to calm down. Now with the caramelized onion, I'm going to pour a little bit of this grease out, but we need some of it. Alright y'all, pour most of that grease out and return that pan back to the stove and we're going to add in some onions. And all you have to do is cook your onions. Because really caramelizing, you're just cooking them in the, you know, your drippings and stuff from your burger. Okay. Get on back in there. <laughs> so it's soaking up all that flavor from your burger. It's gonna be good, honey. It's time to see. Okay. Now let's look at this spaghetti. Let me get a. I got my little tongue back. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. That, that spaghetti going to be right. See how you only needed a little bit of water. You don't want too much. Woo! I don't see how folks use the microwave when you can heat your spaghetti up like this, baby. Mm. Now your onions, you just cook them until they the way you like them. My kids like somewhat of a crunch, but if you want them soft, you just keep cooking them. I can take mine out. And then I have to put in my pickles. I'm going to show y'all how I do my pickles. Ooh. And I'll show y'all these onions. Now you got them soaked up with all that flavor, honey, from your burgers. Can y'all still hear me and see me all right? I hope my live doing well. I got my other phone open so I can see, but I ain't been looking at it. 
because it'll look fine on my end. And then I'll watch the replay and it'll be like, oh, we couldn't see you. <laughs> you see those onions? Do you see them, baby? <laughs> Can you smell them? <laughs> All right. Now what we need to do is do our pickles. I'm going to take some of this stuff out of my pan. Some of that stuff start, you know, being disrespectful. It start getting black. We don't need nothing problems. Okay. Let me get one of my little ramekins. Okay. Let's see Ain't nobody trying to have no burnt. <laughs> <laughs> no burnt food, okay? So we're going to take that out like that. But I still need a little bit more of my oil. See all that stuff? We don't need that. Put that to the side. And I got my oil reserved right here. You thought I threw it away, didn't you? Thought I poured it down the sink. Somebody thought I poured that oil down the sink. I know they did. But boo yell, I did not. Get you some pills. Take them out of here. We need some. I'm going to help somebody <laughs> with these pills. They be so good, y'all, if you do it like this. some pickles and they like pickles so we need a little extra pickles take your pickles and put them right on in there until you try it, okay? Just try to keep that mindset. Now, if one thing you try something, you don't like it. But if you ain't tried it, you can't knock it. How can you? <laughs> hey, Vivian. <laughs> hey, is it Jamila? <laughs> try the pickles. I'm trying to say it'll change your whole burger. It'll change your whole burger. And then, you take those pickles out of there. It's not smoking. You don't want to put your bread and stuff in there if it's doing all of that, okay? Let me get some cheese. some of this cheese the cheese is really gonna melt on here anyway but I'm gonna cover it up that's why I said you ain't gotta cook your bug all the way through you gonna get it for a few seconds turn it on low and just cover it and then we're gonna warm that bun honey and warm it up 
form the bun and put it together and that's it and this is going to be a burger made with love love and care and all of that good stuff that's why you can't get rid of your kids when you cook like that that's why they never leave they just keep coming back well they just never leave and don't feed a stranger whoever fed a stranger i have you feed a stranger they come back I promise you, they keep coming back. <laughs> they keep coming back. I had to tell this one guy, I said, look, I'm trying to get married. I can't be feeding you. You can't be coming right here like a stray cat. They're going to think we're together. And we was not together. So it's like, child, when your food be like that, child, they just, you just can't get rid of people. <laughs> just can't get rid of them. Good enough. Praise the Lord. Let me get another plate. All right, this is good enough. Oh yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'd be so happy for my kids. I'd be happy with them because I know what it's gonna taste like. Now I need a little something in there. Let me see. I'd be so happy for my kids. Because <laughs> I know the food going to be so good. They be so happy. That breakfast I posted yesterday, all I got to do is come in the kitchen and start cooking. They'll come out the room. They would have came out here if they didn't know I was on live. They know I'm on live, so they don't like to be on live. That's why they ain't came out the room. But they know they getting their food, so they know I'm cooking for them. All right, if you want to heat up your bun, totally optional. But it does make your burger, burger taste better, I promise you that. Heat that bun up. Put them in there like that. My kids know how to cook really good, better than I knew they did. So it's on those days where, like, like it was recently, not that recent, but it wasn't that long ago. I was not feeling, you know, in it, like a, I didn't have a lot of energy. So I was like, listen, y'all going to have to do something. But I'm not, I can't cook today. And my daughter came here and made a whole Alfredo pasta with, like, it was, it looked good. It looked good. I was like, dad, with panne noodles and, and all that. Like, it, it just, it, it was wonderful. She, I'm, you know. So, I mean, they can cook when they want to, you know. I have Miracle Whip too. I'm not a Miracle Whip person. I like mayo. <laughs> but I got Miracle Whip too. You know. I don't have all girls. I have two boys and three girls. Thank you and, and one granddaughter. Y'all got to see my Bella Boo. I call her Bella Boo. Up, like I'm not pulling that flat thing out just for some buns. Like that don't make no sense. <sighs> now I'm gonna let that go a little bit, a little bit more now. Come on now, do me right. Give me a little toast. That one look good. I'm gonna toast it a little bit. Oh Brenda, I'm gonna make a burger that you like. Then if you like everything on it, I'm about to make a burger with everything on it. Gail, the the two that cook are 17 and 16. But Layla be 18. Layla be 18 next month. 
and Alana will be five next week. So, is mayo a southern thing? Well, I'm definitely a country girl, so that must be why I love mayo so much, because that miracle was too sweet for me. Who came up with a miracle? <laughs> Somebody who likes sugar. <laughs> Peggy, I look young. I'm almost 40. I'm not that young. <laughs> yeah, I like mustard on mine too, but I like everything on my burger. I don't even, I, I, I don't know. I just can't eat a burger with, without everything. That's just me though, you know. We got to respect people's, what they want, you know. All right, this is almost ready. Those buns are nice and soft. <laughs> they are though. Um, so even if you buy buns at the store and they're not that soft, if you take time and warm them up, they'll actually be just the way you need them to be. So you ain't got to worry about they're not as soft as you want them to be. Take time and warm them up before you put your burger together and it'll be, you know, thank you, dear. But it's almost ready. I'm going to give it just a few more seconds and I'm going to put it together. I'm going to do mayo. I'm going to bring y'all over here. We're going to put this thing together. And I'm excited. I'm excited like I'm eating. <laughs> so, and that's okay because I don't have to be. Um, put this over here. I'll get everything cleaned up once I hop off live with you all. But I'm going to turn you all around so you can see what I'm doing. And then that way, let's see. I need y'all to be able to see, see. All right, so as you can see, let's move this lettuce out the way. We can move this out the way. Okay. So we have our lettuce and tomato. I know my tea is cold. I'm not going to forget about that. These tomatoes are for my salad. Um, get the mayo. We got our pickles. We did the warm pickles. Now, if I wasn't on live, this would have went a lot quicker. So, because when I'm trying to show you all what I'm doing, um, and they're the caramelized onions. I'll put that over here because I want y'all to see me put the burger together. And I need this space so y'all can see. And we need a plate. A plate, mom. I'll do Layla's plate because Layla is, um, that's a big plate, ain't it? I don't need no big old plate like that. Hold on. <laughs> that plate too big. Well, I guess we gonna have to use that plate. Mm. Oh well, should be all right. Should be all right. All right, now I'm gonna grab a bun. Ooh. I'm gonna grab her bun and let's get a butter knife. I'm gonna let her do her own ketchup. So I like to take a little mayo. She likes mayo, by the way. So those that like miracle, my kids like mayo. Now Aaliyah, Aaliyah, nah, she kind of funny. She that funny child. I can't tell you what Aaliyah probably want on hers. So I'm going to do my, can I see what I want on the bottom? I'm going to do my lettuce on the bottom. My lettuce and tomato. Remember, we talked about presentation, so just wipe the side of that plate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put her burr on here. And then I'm going to add some caramelized onions. And some of those pickles. Yes! <laughs> Woo! My God. I'm getting excited. What else we missing, y'all? That's it. That's it. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to let you get a, a good side view of that. I'm going to make sure her plate is nice and clean. And then we're going to add some spaghetti to that plate because I wasn't doing fries. And she just better be happy with that. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. better come on with it come on with it <laughs> hold on y'all i'm trying to bring the camera back so y'all can see 
Thank you, Ricky. All right, let me take y'all so y'all can see that. Let me show you how we do that there. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So I just heated up some leftover spaghetti. And there is her burger. Now I'm going to cut it in half. She's going to be mad. But oh well, I'm making her another one so she'll get over it. She shall get over it. But she's not really picky. So... Now, Aaliyah, try to cut her burger. She probably going to cry. <laughs> I hope she ain't watching me. She going to get me because I be teasing her. Ooh, baby. Remember I told you. Look at that. Done. And if I squeeze it, baby, see that juice? Juice. <laughs> I told you. Told you, honey. Layla! I want y'all to see Bella Boo. Don't it look good, y'all? Mm-mm-mm. Hold on, y'all. Layla! Why is she acting like she can't hear? She must be making a TikTok. Layla be making them dog on TikToks. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and make Aaliyah's uh, plate. Those are nice and brown. And the stove's still on, so if you turn it down, you don't have to worry about it burning up. That's why I try to encourage to cook lower. Cook lower on your stove. And then you don't have to worry about things. Oh, she said she probably sleep. Well, she could stay asleep. So the machine got to come. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna make uh, a lid and a line of now. These are more toasty, as y'all can hear. <laughs> y'all want to see my new my new fur ball? This is my Paco. Paco, say hi. Say hi, Paco. Say hi, Paco. Paco, say hi. Paco is a toy poodle, and me and him share the same birthday, November the 6th. <laughs> Alana, take your bike back that way, baby. I'm still on live. Take your bike back to your room, sweetie. Don't come through here. Make a U-turn in the living room. Make a U-turn in the living room. There you go. All right, y'all. You say you never would have did what with spaghetti. Thank you. Yes, my birthday is November 6th. So that's one of the things that caught my little eye too. Well, I didn't know his birthday was my birthday until after I was purchasing him. And then I found out we had the same birthday. So I thought that was pretty cool. It's Paco, not Taco. <laughs> Somebody said Taco. All right, y'all. Okay, then we put the burgers. But thank you. There's one and there's one. I guess Miss Layla is sweet, so I'll wrap her stuff up. Aaliyah. Aaliyah, mm -hmm. you want um, caramelized onions or raw onion? I know you like both, so which one? Yeah, I think I want the caramelized. Caramelized this time? 
This is your, that's Layla's burger. I cut it open so they can see it. I wanted her to bring Bella Boo. Oh, I'll bring it. Is Bella sweet? Mm -mm. She's that much of cooking now. Yeah. So what do you need? What's, I want you to bring Bella. Go back. Mm -hmm. Let me show y'all what this look like before I put this thing on here. Hold on, Boo. No, I just want the burger. Huh? I just want the burger. So that's what it looked like before I put that bun on top, honey. And then we just... It's so soft too. It's just a, such a soft bun. <laughs> I know you had some spaghetti. Y'all stop fighting while I'm on live. That's mine. Yeah. Your burger's right there, baby. I, I cut it open. Child, teenagers, they over here fighting. I'm right here on live. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right. Can I get a Alana doesn't want. Hmm? Can I get a knife so I can cut it in half? Yeah. Use that one. That's the one I used. Okay, y'all. I think that was it. This is Alana's plate, but Alana doesn't really play that with all the extra stuff. Alana like just she probably gonna take that lettuce off. She does like tomato. She may want some pickles. So I'm gonna get her some regular pickles. She ain't gonna want no hot pickles. Cause I just know. Mm -hmm. You need to look up or no? Can y'all taste it so they can know? Y'all ready? Mom, what you doing? What are you doing? You got on live. You're not on live. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it. I didn't flip it around. Can you shut well, it? Very good. Um. <laughs> Got him. Got wow. him. <laughs> <laughs> it's very delicious. That is enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah. Alana, come on, dear. Yeah, I had to get y'all real quick because y'all just. Y'all be doing stuff to me. You no, over here no, fighting. No, no, no. Well, you shouldn't have been over here fighting. That wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary for y'all be fighting behind me either while I'm on live. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, so they tan it up. I'm about to feed Alana. I'm waiting on her to come in here. She just left on her bike. I don't know where she went. She's in the bathroom. No, she's in the bathroom. Oh, she's in the bathroom. Okay. So I'm going to feed Alana. Bella, we're trying to get Bella. Layla won't go get Bella because Layla's stuff in her mouth. Layla, they want to see Bella. She didn't put that burger down yet, y'all. <laughs> that burger box gone. <laughs> Half of it, anyway. <laughs> How does it taste? Pretty good, pretty good. I see. You tan it up, honey. Uh-huh. I ain't gonna do you like that. I ain't gonna do you like that. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Here comes Bella. And then, other than that, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Um, Paco, move. Paco, move back. I'm not feeding you right now. You want some spaghetti? You want some spaghetti? Paco likes spaghetti. <laughs> he does. I feed him spaghetti. Here's little Bella Boo. There she is. Say hi, Bella. Is my phone going dead? Yep. Say hi, Bella. Well, my phone is dying. <laughs> Let me see. I gotta find my charger. Say hello, Bella Boo. Look, okay. She is fat, y'all. Y'all see them thighs? Do you see them thighs? I said Paco wants a burger. <laughs> yeah, Paco not getting a burger. But he does eat regular food with us. <laughs> he eats regular food. Let me see if I can. I made that mistake. He got that good dog food over there, and he would not eat the dog food. So now he likes regular food. Yes, Bell is huge. <laughs> Huge, huge, huge. So that was it. Make sure you try it, you all. Try the burgers the way I made them. Put a little bit of that uh, onion soup mix in there. Get you a little base seasoning. Put you a little mustard. Get you an egg. Toss it in there and make sure you just cook it on a lower temp. Don't don't cook it on high. Cook it like on a medium, like a medium high. Medium high. That's a good. That's the temperature. Medium high. And um, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Bella's growing up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Look, Aaron, I actually call him Paco Taco. So that's usually what I end up doing. Paco Taco. Y'all want to see him again? Paco. Say hi. Say hi, Paco. Paco.
Paco. Paco. Say hello. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing with you. Uh oh, give me my charger. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. He tried to. Hold on, y'all. This little Paco Taco. He's a toy poodle. He is going on December during. He's two months. Going on three months. So, all right, you all have a great rest of your evening. Say bye, Paco. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Okay, no kissing in the mouth. We don't do that around here. <laughs> Us folks don't do that. All right. I love y'all, and I'll see you all very, very soon. If you're in the weight loss group, I will see you in the morning. And other than that, yeah, have a great rest of your day. You can email me at cookingwithaisha at y'all do. <laughs> cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com. You can email me at cookingwithaisha at yahoo.com. All right, be blessed.